Hi, this is Dan Kirkwright, Instructional Technology Specialist for the Coeur d'Alene School District. And today we're doing a technology tutorial on how to upload and share videos from your Google Drive. So we'll talk about getting videos from a video source to your Google Drive and then how to share it out to people so that they can view that video uh, from any device. So to start off, we're going to take a look at getting the video into Google Drive and we're going to talk about how to do that from your computer. So we're going to assume at this point we've taken the video from whatever video capture device it is, whether it's a camera or a smartphone, and we've gotten it to our computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I've set up this video folder in my Google Drive. I'm going to open that up and then I'm going to go and find where that video exists on my computer. In this case, it's in my video library. I'm going to grab that video. So let's say we'll take this Adeli Penguins short video. And the first way I can do it is just drag it from that Windows Explorer window right into the folder in Google Drive. I'll drop it in there. And we can see down here at the bottom that it's now uploading this item. Now that it is uploaded, I'm going to show you the other way that we can upload a video. So I can go over here to the New button, go to File Upload. It's going to bring up a similar window. I'm going to go over to my videos. Here's that same one. I'll check, take a different one, maybe this one here. Hit Open, and down here we can see that it's uploading, and they've both been put into my Google Drive. Now one thing to be aware of is when I do first upload a video, they will have to go through a conversion process so that they can be viewed on any device. So if I were to double click this to try and open it, it's going to tell me that they're processing the video to check back later. So it's going to take a little bit for it to process and be available for viewing. Not too long, depending on the size of the video. Uh, shorter videos can take just a couple minutes. Longer videos I've seen take somewhere around 20 to 30 minutes, just depending on what size the video is. For example, that second video that I uploaded was uh, less than one megabyte, and it's already, I can tell that it's already been processed because I can see the icon, sort of a preview of what the video is. If I double click on it, it'll pop up, and I can play it right there. So that one was an 11 second video, so it's pretty short. This other one, the Deadly Penguin one, it might take a little while longer because it is a bigger file. So now once I have these in there, now I can start adjusting the sharing permissions. So for this one, since I know that it's ready to go, I can select it and up here in the menu bar is the little silhouette with the plus icon. I can click on that and I can adjust some sharing permissions. By default, anything that we upload to our Google Drives in the Coeur d'Alene School District is going to have this sharing default that anyone in the Coeur d'Alene School District with the link can view it. Now, in most cases, I probably will leave it that way because then from that point, I can just take the link, send it out to anybody, and I know that anybody in the Coeur d'Alene School District will be able to view that video as long as they're signed in to their Google account. Now, the other thing that I can do is if I want to make that broader, if I want to send that maybe home to parents because it's a sample of student work or something like that, I can click on this advanced tab and I can change the global sharing permissions and I can say anyone with the link and I'm going to leave this here as it can view depending on what I want people to be able to do with it, if I want them to be able to edit it or grab it, download it, that kind of thing, I might give broader permissions but in most cases I'll leave it to can view I'll hit save. One quick thing to note from this uh, main sharing settings page is you do have the option down here as the owner of this file. You can prevent editors from changing access and adding new people. So if you give people edit access to this, you could prevent them from sharing it with other people. You can also click this box here and that will dis disable options to download, print, and copy for commenters and viewers. So if I left this to view only and click this button here, 
and hit save changes, that means they can view the video, but they can't download it. They can't, if it was a document, they wouldn't be able to print it or make a copy of their own. I can send this link to now, anybody, whether they're in or out of the school district, and they will be able to view it on any device, uh, just as long as they've got access to the internet and the link. And that's one important thing to remember is they'll only be able to access it through this link. And if you'll notice right here, this unique ID, that's the ID given to that video. So unless somebody guesses that uh, sequence of letters and or numbers, uh, they will not have access to it unless you specifically give them the link. So now the next step is to take a look at how to do this via a mobile device. So I'm going to pull up my iPad here and I'm going to start by showing how to do it from the Photos app. So I've gone into the Photos app. I'm going to select my video. This is of my daughter doing some exercise classes um, and I'm just going to hit the export button. It's going to pull up some options and one of those options is more over here on the side and I don't have Google Drive enabled, so I need to make sure that I enable it as a spot where I can export uh, videos to. It'll show up right there in that menu. I'll hit Drive, and right now it's going to upload to my drive, and I can tell it where to put it. So I'm going to go down here to that Videos folder, say so that's where I want it. Hit Upload, and it's going to start uploading that file to my drive. So now that it's complete, I'm going to close that. I'm going to go to my Drive app, go to that Videos folder, and I can see the files that I've uploaded, the two that I did from my computer as well as the one that I did from the Photos Gallery. I can hit the three circles on the right hand side to get to the settings for that. If I want to add specific people, I can do that. Or if I want to take a look at the share settings, I'm going to click down there on the Details. So I'm going to go there first. It's going to pull over the information window on the right hand side. And from there I can uh, see a bunch of different things, but the biggest thing I want to take a look at is who has access. Now in the mobile app I don't have as many options as I do uh, on the computer, but I can change that if I click where it says can view. It's going to pop up and under link sharing I can say can edit or I can totally turn it off if I don't want to share that with anybody. Now, the one thing that I that is different here is if I do want to share this with parents, I can't do that from the iOS app. I actually will have to go back to my computer and I'll see that that file's right there and I can tell that it has finished processing in the time that it took me to upload it and get back over here. But I can click on it go to the share settings and like I did with the other one go to advanced change my global sharing settings I want to be able to send this out to a parent I'll say anyone with the link no sign in required can view I'll hit save and then I'll copy this link and that's what I'll send to the parents to say hey check out your daughter or son doing this exercise or the presentation that they did or Maybe it's a screencast that they did with their iPad or an explain everything file or anything like that that's a, a video file that you um, want to upload to Google Drive and share out. Now the last thing I want to share with you is how you can do the upload from the Drive app. So I'm inside that videos folder and if I want to upload a file on my mobile device from within that folder, I can hit the plus sign in the bottom right hand corner, hit upload. And let's say I want to go to my photos and videos. It'll bring up my camera roll. I can click on that. All my videos and pictures will be there. This time I'll select a different video. I'll go for this really short one right here. And I'll hit the check mark in the top right hand corner. That'll start it uploading. And there it is. I can take a look at the details. Right now the link sharing is on. It's going to take it a little bit to process. But again, if I want to share that out, I've got to go back to my computer, and there it is right there. Click on the share, change it how I want to. If there are certain people that I want to invite, I can go here, and I can find anybody within or outside of the Coeur d'Alene School District.
but you need to be really careful because if I send this to somebody outside the Coeur d'Alene School District, they do need to have a Google account. So if, if I don't know whether or not they have a Google account, it's going to be better for me to use the global sharing up here, say anyone with the link, no sign in required. That way I know that uh, whether or not they have a Google account, they can still access just that file. So that's how you can upload videos to Google Drive and share them out to uh, different people. If you have any questions, you can send me an email at dkirkbride at cdaschools.org. Or if you have issues getting to your Google Drive, you'll want to send an email to accounts at cdaschools.org. So that's it for this. Hope you guys have a good day and happy uploading.